I'm Riley and welcome to the UMA cooking lesson series. Today we're going to be going into Hannaford and getting the ingredients to make broccoli cheddar soup on this beautiful fall day. The recipe is coming from the five ingredient cookbook, so let's go! We're now at Hannaford, so we're going to be going inside and getting the following ingredients. Broccoli, garlic, vegetable or chicken broth, cream, cheddar cheese, salt and pepper. I already have salt and pepper at my house, so I won't be needing to get any of that. All of the ingredients will be listed in the description box below, as well as the recipe when we get to that step later on. Let's go inside. back from Hanford and we got all the ingredients and this is a meal that cost under $10 as you can see from my receipt. The heavy cream was $2.29, the cheddar cheese was $2.09, the vegetable broth was $1.89, the broccoli was $1.40 and the garlic was 79 cents and we're gonna have some leftovers as well. So the grand total was $8.46. We're now gonna get into the lesson of how to cook broccoli cheddar soup. We have our head of broccoli, our vegetable broth, our heavy cream, sharp cheddar cheese, and garlic, as well as salt and pepper. I have clean hands and I'm now going to be mincing two cloves of garlic. So you can break these off and we only need two cloves. This are two cloves of garlic. Garlic has many, many cloves to it. We only need two for the purpose of this. So, you, what I like to do is take my palm and put my other palm over it and break it. And it crunches up and this is going to make it easier to mince. So you can do these to both of the garlics. and they kind of smoosh up like that. So now we're going to peel off the outer layer of the garlic and we can just set that aside. You can do this before or after you mince. So we'll take all of the white part off and this also helps to de-peel the garlic. So we want the white and the translucent white flakes over there. So we're gonna make sure all the peeling is away. And then to mince, all you have to do is take your knife and just cut it into really little pieces. Mincing, just like this, really, really small pieces. And be very careful to not cut your fingers. So that is what it should look like, and I'm gonna do this to the rest of the cloves. I have now minced the two cloves of garlic and next I will be breaking the broccoli into the florets. I've washed my hands again because they were sticky from the garlic. I'm now gonna take my one head of broccoli and break it into florets. This is a florette and we can break this into smaller florets. You can have it this size or you can even cut this in half. So I'm gonna take each big florette of broccoli and break it into small little pieces. And these will be bite-sized pieces of broccoli for the soup. I'm going to florette this entire head of broccoli. So I've washed my hands once again, and now I have the entire head of broccoli all in little florets. One thing I wanted to mention is whenever you buy produce from the store or a farmer stand, make sure that you wash the produce before you use it or eat it, just to ensure that you're eating clean produce. So I now have my broccoli and florette, my garlic all minced, and I'm now going to pour out four cups of vegetable broth. This is a two 
cup liquid measuring cup, so I will have to do it twice. We're going to add four cups of vegetable broth, the broccoli and the garlic, all into a large pot. And then we're going to simmer it. If you don't have a liquid measuring cup, a 32 ounce carton of vegetable broth is exactly four cups. I have now added in my broccoli, my garlic, and my vegetable broth. I'm now going to put it on medium heat and let it simmer for about seven minutes. The soup is now simmering and we're going to add in one cup of heavy cream. I just added in one cup of heavy cream and I'm going to stir it and let it simmer for two to three minutes. My soup is all done simmering so I'm going to add in two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. An 8 ounce bag is equivalent to 2 cups of sharp cheddar cheese. I'm now going to serve my soup into my yummy bowl. Thank you so much for attending my cooking lesson and coming on my grocery experience with me. I hope your broccoli cheddar soup is as delicious as mine is. And thank you so, so much for attending. I hope everyone has a great weekend and stay tuned for when the next video will be. Bye.